In this video, I want to introduce a series I'm calling Functional Python. The goal of these videos are two. The most important one is that I want to map the functional programming concepts to Python constructs. The idea is to show that you can do effective functional programming using Python. The second, and to a lesser extent, is to introduce functional programming features to Python programmers. So if you have never heard of functional programming, then this might be a relatively small but useful introduction. But I want to emphasize that my goal is not to introduce Python, and my goal is not to introduce functional programming. It's, I'm assuming that you have knowledge of both camps at this, at this point. So what is the plan? At this point, I'm dividing it into two main stages. The first one is to introduce the basics. So essentially, the functional programming features, how they are implemented in Python and how they are used in Python. For example, anonymous functions, uh, map, filter, and fault, streams, memoization, etc. The goal is that each one of these will be a short video, five to 10 minutes. The idea is that it's very targeted, it's short, you can learn something without spending a lot of time uh, watching the video. And then the second stage is going to be about how to use these features. At this point, what I'm thinking is that I will be solving problems, solving problems from CATIS and uh, the competitive programming website to solve um, I'm going to solve these problems using functional um, Python. And uh, that way then you can see how in practice these functional programming features are used. I think that the main challenge for many of the people who learn functional programming is that they think that it is a feature of the language that is done with certain languages and is not easily portable to other ones. And my goal is to really show that in Python or in other languages, as long as they have functional programming features, you can be an effective functional programmer. And um, so I'll do it through solving uh, one problem at a time. Most of the problems will, rel be, will be relatively small, so you can, we can concentrate on the functional programming rather than in the problem at bay. And then um, I'm also envisioning a third stage where I will be talking about more advanced features, more specific and, uh, and targeted uh, videos on things that they are particularly unique or uh, interesting about Python and how it does functional programming. And if you have any suggestions with respect to other topics that might be interesting to cover, then let me know. Okay. So how, um, so uh, as I mentioned before, the idea is to have short videos, each focus in each one of the topics. They will be organized into playlists and um, all the notes will be in GitHub. So um, the, the notes that will be showing as uh, along with the source code of the, of the programs I will be showing will be in this repository. And, uh, and then the links to the videos will be properly organized there. And, uh, and videos will be uploaded over time, so uh, they will not appear all at once. And uh, so this might be um, a project that might be longer than um, a couple of months. And um, so I just want to leave it at this, to the, at, as, as this, at this point. And um, by the time that you watch this video, there should be one or two more that you can uh, follow. And, uh, and hopefully they will be useful. Thank you.